Okay, I wanted to show you this uh, neat wee device we've come across. Uh, one of our users had a requirement for page turning, um, not using a touch screen, but using a button. Uh, it's actually an organist who uses uh, power music and he, he didn't want a foot pedal because his feet were busy, uh, obviously, with the pedals and the organ. So we've come across uh, this neat little device here. Um, it's a, an illuminated USB button and uh, basically you can program this button to produce any sequence of keys from uh, a single press. So here we are in power music, if I just go full screen in that, and if I just tap the, the, the button, it uh, does the page turning. And you'll notice as I press it uh, change colour, so if I just go back a page and do that again, you'll see, tap it and it changes colour. Uh, it's very easy to program, uh, you can change the colours, you can switch off the light completely, it comes with a little utility, here it's here, and basically you can select uh, any key you want or any combination of keys. In fact, it's really quite sophisticated. You can have uh, up to 48 characters on a single key press, so maybe it's got other uses, uh, for instance, for launching websites, for doing things like that. Uh, there's how you can change the colour. So if we wanted to change the colour for the unpressed state, we just change the sliders and choose the colour we want. So if we wanted it to be uh, darker green there, and then for the uh, reset, let's just do that. Okay, and then we're programming this to page down, because page down is what we'd use in Power Music to turn the page. I can't find it. So page down. Yeah. And see that. And immediately the button changes colour, and that's it reprogrammed so that again, if you just full screen, tap the button and it moves through. So that's it, it's a little USB button, uh, we'll have it on our website. There are different versions of it, there's one version comes with a heavy metal base, there's also a self-adhesive pad you can get for it to hold it down and it just plugs into a USB socket and you can have as many of these as you want uh, plugged in, there's no limit, you could have a hub with half a dozen of these for all different functions if you wanted to use it for that. Okay, so that's the USB button.